Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Echidna Sewing and today I'm going to be taking up the challenge of creating this beautiful quilt block that you can see on this quilt sampler here directly on my brother Stellaire XJ1 embroidery machine with the built-in My Design Center feature. So that's right, I'm going to start with a piece of artwork. The machine's going to turn that into stitches. It's going to apply this beautiful quilt background and we're going to do all that within oh, three minutes, hopefully. That's the plan. And you're going to see how just amazing the My Design Center functionality is. Now, My Design Center is available on the Stellaire range of machines, the Luminaires, the... Um, the Dream Machines, the, P the Brother PR1050 and Brother PR1055 machines. It's an exclusive Brother feature of the My Design Center and it's just amazing. So that's my challenge. I've got to create this file within three minutes with no software or no computer required. So, uh, and incidentally, this design pack, which we now have available on our website is fantastic. So that particular block that I'm going to create will be available or is available on one of our free design packs that they are free sampler packs online. So that's what we're gonna do. You got a good, good uh, image of it there. So let's move that out the way and expose our machine. So here it is, the Stellaire XJ1. This is the sewing and embroidery version of the Stellaire. And it has the My Design Center built in. So I've printed out the image. That's the piece of artwork that we've got to work with. And um, obviously I've got it also as a JPEG file and that's on my USB stick, which is plugged into the machine on the side here. Uh, if I wanted to take this image here off a piece of paper or a scanned image or something and, and, um, and uh, send it to the machine, I could use the My Design Snap app, take a photograph of it, send it to this machine. Uh, but I don't need to because I've got the original JPEG file on my USB stick. So that's what we're gonna work with. So let's move that out the way. I have my machine, let's just touch the screen. We're in our standard menu. I've got my phone here with my um, stopwatch on and we'll see if we can beat three minutes to create this design complete with the background quilting uh, on directly on the machine. So if we're ready, let's hit the start button and the My Design Center button. So at the same time, so we'll hit start, My Design Center. So here we are in My Design Center. It's a line design that I wanna bring in and I'm bringing it in from my USB stick. It's in the folk sewing option there. It's block number one, and that will show up on screen now. And if we now say set, there it is. There's the image that I'm working with. I do want to crop it just out a little bit. I don't want to cut anything off. So we're just going to move that out and that side out a bit. So you can control everything you're doing. Click OK. Now the machine has interpreted the design. I'm happy with that. Let's hit set. I'm also happy with that. I want to resize it down to about 150 millimeters. So you can see my sizing up the top there. Just rescaling that down to about 150. I don't need to be exact, that's fine. Let's click OK. I might turn the background image off so you can see what we've got. I now want to go next and I want to turn that into a sat into a running stitch. Now currently it's a satin stitch. So if I hit, whoops, cancel that. I just wasted some time. Hit the link button, that links all the pieces together. If I hit the satin stitch button and I want to choose my double run stitch and I'm going to go to a red color. So click OK and then hit preview and you'll see that we have now got a stitch file. I'm now going to hit set and save that as an embroidery design. Now I want to make an outline of that so we go to edit and I go to my stamp, stamp pattern option there and I'm going to expand. This is creating a stamp around the design so I don't stitch my quilting background over the top of the design and I'm just going to open up the border around there till we get to about three millimeters and that will ensure that I've got none of this little sort of landlocked area just there. Three millimeters should do it. One more, that will do. Just hit memory, that saves it into the machine memory. Now I click OK and I'm going to now add some quilting backgrounds. So I hit add, my design center, and I'm going to go into my stamps list there. There's my stamp patterns. I'm going to bring in the stamp that I created. There it is. Now I'm going to bring in the hoop size. I want this to stitch in my 240 by 240 hoop. So there it is, that's what I want. I am now going to fill it with a background pattern. So we hit on fill bucket, background patterns, quilting patterns, select, and I'm now going to go to my basket weave stitch there, which is what I used. I'm gonna change it to purple because I can, and we go okay, hit that button there. I do want to now, I'm happy with that, so let's go next. I want to scale the pattern up to about 140%. And I'm running out of time, but we're getting there and I, my, my lines are on, I'm happy with that. Let's hit preview, okay. And you'll see there's our quilting background, hit set, it will go back into embroidery mode. It will bring back the pattern and if I hit embroidery, I'm now ready to sew and that is all I had to do. I better stop my timer too. 
So uh, I was well under three minutes. I think it was about two minutes 44 before, uh, before I forgot to hit the stop button. But there it is. That's the design is all completed. It is ready to stitch now. All I got to do is hoop up my fabric, hit the go button, and, uh, and you've got a fantastic quilt block all done on the machine from artwork that we started with. Not a digitized file, not something I bought, not something I downloaded, just a beautiful piece of clip art. You can do that too if you have My Design Center on your machine, that wonderful feature from Brother. So hope you found that informative. Um, it's good fun to do, so happy embroidering. Cheers.